Assalamu alaikum respected audience and followers. In this video, we shall be answering one of the questions um, posted by one of our brothers or a sister. He says, Salamun alaikum brother, can you please explain to me, Bismi, exactly why it is pronounced like that? Bismillah would actually be grammatically correct, wouldn't it? The word Bismi actually means my name. Thank you. So his questions are basically two. The, we begin with the last question. The last question says, Bismi means my name. No, brother. Bismi does not mean my name. The original word is Ismun, which means a name or name. When you want to be the possessor as the first person, you simply say Ismi by adding the domero motasin lil motakalim, by adding the attached pronoun for the speaker, which is here. Just like you say, kitabun, a book. Kitabi, my book. So the word is ismun, name. Ismi, my name. So when you want to say my name, you simply say ismi. There is no any importance of adding B to it because it will change the meaning. However, when you say bismi, it simply means in the name or with the name. So this is the meaning of bismi. Now, coming back to your first question, which says bism with sukun, bism plus ilah. Is it grammatically correct? No, this is not grammatically correct because bismi is with the name. Bismi, it is two in one word. That is not a single word. The first word is ba, which is rabi. This bakesrobi is called harful jar, which is a um, a particle which put a, a preposition which put the noun coming after it into the genitive case carrying kisro. So when you have bakesrobi coming before any noun, like when you say bil kitabi, it means with the book. Bil kalami, it means with the pen. You can see the noun coming after it is now ending with kisro. That is the same thing that happens to ismu. So ba kisro bi is harful jar preposition. Then the Allah, the mim dia, the ismi dia is now also carrying kisro, which is the majurur, the noun in the genitive case. So we have bismi with the name. Then we have Allah, bismillahi. Then the Allah there is also modof on ilay because ismu here is coming as the modof which is the what the possessed then the allahu is the possessor which is obliged to also carry kisro and be in the majorur case in the genitive case carrying kisro so coming back to your question bismi does not mean my name ismi means my name bismi means with the name of allah with the name then bismillahi with the name of Allah. With this, I hope I've been able to make you understand your question. Let us feel free to always drop our questions at the comment section as we will try our best to provide the right answers to them. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.